All right, hey guys, this is Joey. Uh, a little bit late today on my Vlogtober vlog, but that's all right. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, this morning, I got up at four o'clock in the morning and went out and ran 13 miles. <laughs> I did pretty well uh, considering, I uh, think I mentioned yesterday that I wanted to do it in two hours, 30 minutes, and I did it in two twenty-seven, two hours, twenty-seven minutes, fifty-five seconds. So uh, I'm pretty glad uh, that I got that time. It's a good time, uh, especially since uh, uh, I had to stop and take a bathroom break, which was actually quite. It, that actually helped me out in the long run <laughs> because. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, so between mile two and mile, no, but between mile one and mile two, there was a um, uh, error <laughs> that um, happened, and they blocked off the wrong road, and everybody took a wrong turn and run an extra four tenths of a mile. Uh, except for the people like in the back half of the group. So I was running along with some uh, friends and uh, I had to go to the bathroom really bad. And um, I'd already been to the bathroom once right before the race and I had to go again. Uh, so <clears throat> I figured that I'd just go ahead and go to the bathroom and not be miserable for 13.1 miles. Uh, so as soon as the bathroom came up, I went and took that opportunity, and I uh, went in the bathroom, did my business, came back out, and got back, you know, got back to running. And about a half a mile later, there I, we run into this group of people that were running from like a different direction, and that group turned out uh, to be the group that run the extra four tenths of a mile, but I didn't know that at the time. And some other people were saying, you know, oh, I think they're running a 5K2 today. And I thought that was kind of weird that, you know, I hadn't heard anything about it, but whatever. So, <laughs> uh, later on, <clears throat> uh, there's a little spot. There's a one, one place where you uh, get off the main road and you run up to this mansion, this old historic mansion, and you run back to the main road. And so I did that, and the whole time I was like looking at the people coming back toward me and thinking that I would see those people that I had been running with before I went to the bathroom because I was trying to catch up to them. And I never caught up to them. And when I, when I did the turnaround and came back, uh, I happened to see one of them. I'm like, holy crap, you know, <laughs> how did I get in front of you? So later on I asked another guy, I'm like, how did I, how, what happened? And he told me, he was like, some, you know, some happened with one of the cop cars and they got in the wrong spot and sent everybody in the wrong direction. So, uh, the moral of that little story is, it was a good, it was a good thing that I actually did go to the bathroom, even though it cost me some time, uh, I ended up saving four tenths of a mile. Uh, so I, I did pretty well, um... I run the basically the first uh, third of the race. I pretty much ran continuously except for my bathroom break because uh, I ended up spending after the bathroom break. I spent the next two or three miles trying to catch up to uh, where I needed to be as pace wise to to do it in two hours and thirty minutes. And then um, once I got caught up, then I started doing the three minutes running, one minute walking kind of thing. And uh, I uh, did pretty well with that. Um, around mile seven or eight, my left leg, the um, muscle in the back, I guess the quad, not the quad, the um, hamstring kind of area started to get tight. And I thought that was going to be an issue, but it kind of loosened up later. Uh, around mile 10, I got some side stitches, um, which is muscles in your abdomen basically you know cramping up a little bit and I started to feel kind of bad uh, so I took a two minute 
walk break instead of a one minute walk break and that helped out a lot and um, that's pretty much it I pretty much stuck to the to my plan the rest of the time uh, once I got to the, close to the end I just went ahead and ran it on in uh, felt really good at the end and I'm like right now I don't feel bad it's like you know 1 30 in the morning uh, but I don't feel bad I feel a little my legs hurt a little bit but not too much and um, overall I think I did pretty well uh, considering my utter lack of training <laughs> so uh, I think it was a good race uh, I feel sorry for the people who who did have to do that extra uh, four tenths of a mile or whatever it was quarter mile um, I, you know, I feel I feel bad for them, but uh, I'm glad I didn't get caught up in that. That's all I can say <laughs> with that. Over, I, yeah, and I don't want people to think this is a bad race. That was a, a human error. Um, the cops basically being the wrong way. I think you know next year that'll be a lesson learned. They'll go out and verify that all the cops are in the right place. I'm sure. Um, uh, but it's a. Uh, I still contend that this is an easy, easy race. If you are looking for a good first half marathon, the Murfreesboro half marathon, the middle half marathon, uh, in mid October, is a great first race. The only the only hard part about it is is getting a slot. You gotta you gotta register early and register often to uh <laughs> to get in no you don't have to register often but you do have to register early because it it sells out pretty quick it's um very popular because it's so easy i think so uh and actually talking to some other people uh another one that's that's easy uh is louisville i guess has a half marathon at some point i'm not sure uh, the details on it but Apparently, I think they have it like in April or May, some somewhere in that time frame. Apparently, that one's a really easy one with no elevation change whatsoever. And uh, there's another one in Nashville, the Tom King Half Marathon that's I've run before, and it is uh, virtually no elevation change. And it is in March, mid March. So good. Those are two good ones. If you're looking for a first half marathon, those are good ones. Uh, Murfreesboro half marathon would be a, a good first one. Uh, a bad first marathon would be my first half marathon, and that was um, the Nashville Country Music Marathon that's in late April. It's hot. It's very, very hilly. It's uh, crowded expensive <laughs> uh, pretty much everything I don't like about half marathons or long races in general is that one's got got it all so uh, I don't rule out doing it again but I I, ugh, I don't I don't think I'm gonna do it next year I think I'm gonna do something different next year maybe I'm trying to do the Louisville half marathon or something like that anyway um, that's all I got for today uh, Sorry, I was late with it. I uh, meant to do it, but um, earlier. But I got sidetracked, and then I took a nap, and then I had to go out and um, had some plans for this evening. So, just now getting in from that. Anyway, <clears throat> peace out. See you tomorrow.